Look, we all know there's been a lot of complaining negativity surrounding the new launch of the iPhone 16 and 16 Pros, mainly the Pros, so the Pros and the Pro Max. Why? The iPhone 12, arguably a pretty large update from the 11. But when you think about it, what did the iPhone 12 Pro get that the 11 Pro didn't have? One, the squared off sides. It felt better, it looked cooler too. The better cameras, better battery, probably a better screen, probably a better processor, and bigger sizes. That's it. And that was a huge, also, also MagSafe. That was a huge upgrade. From the 12 to the 13, we got a smaller notch, probably better cameras, upgrade in battery, and that's it. Upgrade to the 13, from the 13 to the 14, we got worse battery, but Dynamic Island, which Dynamic Island is cool. I think it's cool. Some people don't like it, think it's a gimmick, whatever. 14 to the 15, we got titanium, we got an action button, and we got 5X telephoto lens on the 15 Pro Max. All of these years, every year people are complaining and saying Apple's making the same phone. And every year, these phones are really good phones, best selling iPhone of the year. People still complain when they first come out, but then they shut up after about a week of the phone being out. This phone, the 16 Pro and Pro Max have been out for over a week now, and there's so much more negativity surrounding these phones compared to the last four or five years of iPhones. And I just don't get it. What did the 16 Pro and Pro Max get. We got better battery, we got the same cameras, but we got some new photographic styles. We got an, a whole new button, which is kind of finicky, but it's there. Arguably one of my favorite changes, one of the best changes to me is the bigger screen. I can definitely tell the screen size difference from the 16 Pro Max to the 15 Pro Max. Bigger screen, smaller bezels. That's it right? That's more than the 14 to the 15 or the 13 to the 14 got. Why are people complaining more this year? People have been saying so much Apple is being lazy. Apple isn't trying anymore. And you know what? To a certain extent, I get it. The camera control button is finicky at best. It's uncomfortable. Some people though are going to love it. The new audio mix feature is a really cool idea I've seen nobody else do. When using it, when trying to record my videos, I just couldn't use it. I had to go back to my regular microphone because the audio mix just did not sound good. It hurt my ears while editing. So I just had to scrap the video. Yeah, these features feel half-baked, could be fixed in a software update. Apple Intelligence isn't here yet, whatever. Why is this phone getting so much more negativity than it was last year, than it was the last four years? Is the, is the difference in the iPhone 15 to 16 that much smaller than the 14 to the 15? I don't really think so. I think it's a bigger difference. The battery life on the 14s to the 15s were almost exact. They were crap. My 14 Pro could barely do anything. It was so bad. So I jumped to the 15 Pro Max and that battery was still meh at best. The battery on the 16 Pro Max is incredible, okay? I went and played Pokemon Go for about an hour in just a random park somewhere here in Texas and terrible cell service and I still lost maybe 10% battery and the phone barely got warm. My 15 Pro Max would have been on fire probably. It was like, a, you know, a 90 degree day. Like that's really good, that's a big upgrade. And not to mention the bigger screens are so much more fun to use. The bigger screen on the Pro Max feels bigger to me than the difference between the Pro last year and the Pro this year, the 6.1 to 6.3. Feels like a smaller difference, but the 6.7 to the 6.9 inch screen feels like a, such a big difference. Playing Pokemon Go with that large screen was really nice. Playing the new Assassin's Creed Mirage on my iPhone 16 Pro Max was a joy. It ran fairly well. It didn't run at the level my PS5 runs, but it ran pretty well. It didn't stutter, no lags or anything. It lost not that much battery and the smaller bezels and the bigger screen are beautiful as a joy to use. Maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm in the minority here, but I think the bigger screens are worth the upgrade alone. Again, if you have the cash, not getting into that. I'm okay with Apple releasing an iPhone 15 Pro again, just with bigger screens and bigger battery. I mean, all this phone is, is just an iPhone 13, but now with a bigger screen. It's just a refreshed iPhone 13 with a bigger screen. So what are we looking for? Are we looking for next year's phone to be a triangle? People want innovation from Apple. And here's the thing, here's the downside. Steve Jobs is not here anymore. He was the king of innovation. Tim Cook is a supply chain guy. He's able to get 
a thousand of these out to people in two seconds, with Steve Jobs it would have taken months. We each have our own strengths and weaknesses. Now that Tim Cook is possibly on his way out in the next three years, is the iPhones coming after that, the, uh, the other products going to be even better updates or are they gonna be worse? Who knows? But the 16 Pro Max has so many new, small quality of life things that I love. Like the speaker, it's bigger than it was last year. Bezels are smaller and they're beautiful. The screen is bigger, the battery is better. The control button, camera control button is, it exists, okay? That's about all you got. I'm not going to ever use it unless I get really used to it, unless Apple does something in the software to make it a lot better. The hardware portion of it is still just in a weird spot as everybody and their mom has said. But that's a small new kind of gimmicky feature that's on the downside. But everything else I mentioned, oh, also I forgot to say, the MagSafe magnets got barely stronger according to at least what Apple Insider said. And the thermals are better. The phone, it barely is getting hot. It barely got hot standing outside playing Pokemon Go. But it, it did kind of get hot transferring a video from the phone to a SSD storage drive via USB-C. You you know, different things, I don't know. I'm in an air conditioned house recording this, not outside, who knows? So all of these small features that arguably we do get every year, every year we get, you know, better battery, we get better speakers. We've been getting thinner bezels a lot more recently. Does it really justify the complaining about the 16 Pro and Pro Max? Does it justify the people hating on Apple, the people saying Apple just released the same phone? Again, this is the iPhone 16, same Max as it was last year, but it's not, okay? All of these small features to me combined make one big good feature. Yeah, now the telephoto lens is on the Pro models as well as it was, even though last year was only on the Pro Max. That should have been an issue taken care of last year. Other than that, the cameras are, you know, meh. But I wanna hear from you. Does the complaining about the 16 Pros and Pro Max, is that justified? Do these small features, these small upgrades that we're getting combine to a big good upgrade to you? What do you think? Do you think Apple's being lazy? Oh, and not to mention Apple intelligence. That's not coming till, you know, next year, but you can't really talk about it. And also, I don't really care that much. If you really want Apple intelligence today, download a beta. If you are watching this video, you probably care enough about Apple intelligence. I doubt most people really do care because you have ChatGPT to do everything else. So these are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm Jake, this is Sean on my phone.